Hey my dear Capricorns, what's up with you all? Hope you all are doing fantastic, mind-blowing. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. This is Luna, the Moon Tarot. So let's start with your energy update. This is uh, about your person. What are your person's current thoughts and feelings towards my dear Capricorns? Remember, if you're a cross watcher, do not forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. You never know, I may be catching up with your energies. In case if you are already a subscriber, then do leave me a comment down below which bit of this reading, which part of the reading resonated with you. Next time, you never know, I may be even catching up with your energies as well. Right? This is for my dear Capricorns. What are your person's current thoughts and feelings towards my dear Capricorns, please? This is for my dear Capricorns. What are their person's current thoughts and feelings towards them? Also remember that the time is fluid and energies can be interchangeable. If it is not resonating with you, it may resonate with your partner. Or else check your sun, moon, rising, Venus sign as well. The moon, the fool and the hangman. Oh my God. Somebody is feeling so confused and right in the middle, directionless want to take a leap of faith, want to have a new beginning, but they have a lot of fears, anxiety, whether I should or I should not. It can be you or it can be your person, whether they are thinking about you will be in a connection with them or not, and they are trying to make sense of everything and they are trying to understand what is going to happen in this connection next. They have so much of fear, so much of anxiety, whether you will take a leap of faith with them or not. It can be both ways. Either you are thinking about them or they are thinking about this towards you. Magician, okay. Seven of Swords, Magician, Seven of Swords. Seven of Wands, Magician, Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands here. What I see right now, dear um, Capricorn, is they are manifesting hard. Okay, they are manifesting really hard right now they are trying to keep up they are trying to be positive but they are also losing hope because they feel that you are making them chase you there is some some sort of uh run a chaser dynamic that i see in this particular connection which is happening probably you are making them chase you or probably you are not giving them enough to work around with in this particular connection they see you as, you know, uh, they see you as somebody who is pushing them away and uh, you may have even blocked them, okay? Or probably your heart is so blocked that you're not letting them enter. You're kind of very stubborn in your own uh, comfort zone and you're not ready to push anyone. Uh, you're not ready to accept anyone in your life. With Ace of Swords, I also feel that there is some epiphany, some um, breakthrough that uh, they have received okay they want a communication and they will be communicating with you or probably you guys will have sit together you will have a very practical conversation with each other wherein it will be more about uh, uh, connection and more about the love that uh, you have or they have for you they want to have a relationship with you and that is something that they will make it very clear towards you and they are expecting to uh, be in this connection they are expecting you to be a part of this connection and fall in love with you too the empress is telling me that they definitely uh, they definitely their uh, feelings their attraction is growing on daily basis they are somebody who sees you as uh, you know somebody who's very beautiful you know even if you're a male it's okay they see you as smart you know take how it may resonate but they definitely sees you as somebody who's uh, very beautiful who's very good who's knows how to uh, tackle a situation who knows how to lead from the front who's uh, very good who is very caring very nurturing probably even a caregiver or a provider to their family to your family basically or their family right so they see you as somebody who is very good maybe dealing with a taurus a cancer scorpio pisces aries leo sagittarius and gemini is also seen um with ten of swords i see that you know <clears throat> your person is trying to uh i see that your person thinks or probably they know that you have had a bad past or they have had a bad past wherein they were betrayed and, or you were betrayed not in terms of betrayed, betrayed, but there was something, some uh, relationship ended, which actually left a very bad taste 
in their life or your life and uh, one of you is still carrying those past betrayals and that pain in this particular connection as well one of you wants to end that probably your person wish that you will end it and you will step into this particular connection and not run away from them or probably they are trying to end it and they are uh, hoping uh, to step in this particular connection and start afresh with king of cups i see that they uh, are looking forward uh, with king of cups i see that this person definitely has a lot of love for you or they feel that you have a lot of love uh, for them but you are not showing it and you are not expressing it but there is a lot of love that's what they feel towards you or probably they are the one who has a lot of love but they are not expressing it to you so take how it may resonate it can be any of yours energy that i'm catching up right strength card one person is trying to be very practical in this particular connection maybe dealing with the leo right waiting watching observing where this connection is gonna go but minded guys uh, we have received seven of pentacles that means that it is a lot of hard work a lot of waiting and a lot of patience that is required to make this connection happen here okay a lot of patience a lot of observation a lot of waiting which is happening right now in this particular connection right oh god somebody has to wait a lot somebody is giving a tough fight somebody is running this is a, a runner chase a dynamic capricorn all right guys so i'm gonna see you in the next video see you later Bye bye